Okay, here in uh, the horse meadows. Took seven hours to get here. Got four, 14 more hours to go. I'll, uh, can't make it before dark. We'll stay in that cabin over there. to the floor and the farm. The big trees. Oh, no thanks. This is just the guy I picked up in the parking lot. He's been following me. Investigate the cabin here. I don't know what's so historical about this. Alright. Oh, hey. The floor and the fauna. Okay. Go around here. Hey! The cabin's open. It's the haunted cabin. Alright. This is the view outside your cabin window. Places for sales. Only been on the market a week. Owners only asking eight ninety five. This is a steal. And all right, we'll be heading up that way. I'll get back with you. Two. Wilderness. Okay, you need a permit. So we'll be heading down this way. Trip report. Oh. Oh, this is for when you exit. Okay. That's why I was going to say they should have left you a pin. Oh, look at it. You can read uh, other people what they did. Oh, they just went to South Fork Meadow. They should see the bugs, I'm telling you. Oh, he's biting me. Okay. Guy's still following me. Hey, bugs. Okay, I'm gonna shut it down now. Get out of here because the bugs are. Ah. Oh, made it to the split off. Can't see too well. So, Dollar Lake, that's the way train. I went up that way that time. But we're gonna go to Dry Lake, South Fork Meadows. You can hear the water rushing pretty good. I'll pause this. I'll be back in a sec. We've reached South Fork Meadows. You can see there's other people up ahead around over there. Oh, have to cross this, cross this stream. Oh, there's that strange guy again. Looks like some people Navigating the crossing over here. Lots of water. Seen a lot of snow up in the high elevation. But we will have to cross this. Follow those folks. Okay, we're 
taking a break now, so I'll pause this. South Fork Meadows. Got some horses coming. I think we'll be alright. I'm gonna be able to take this. So horses. Ah, no, he's... Look at the horses! Get back. Clear your spot, huh? I think you're okay. We want to see how they afford the tree. Folks, howdy. Me too, thank you. Hi. There they go. Of course, that's the way to go. Trail guys, yeah. Isn't that something? Well, now we know where all the poop is coming from. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, just cross this river here, the strange guy is still, still following me. Gonna attempt to cross him. Hopefully that'll be the last of the rivers we have to cross. You see that big tree they had to fell over and had to cut through. At any rate, we're going to be heading on down the road now. Made it to Dry Lake. That guy passed me by. He's hiding behind a tree over there. He's been doing that most of the way. Jumping from tree to tree. Okay, there's the sign. Dry lake. And it's got to be right through them trees there. Okay, well, I'm going to keep the camera on for this. Let me tighten this up here. Get my pole. Oh boy, we didn't think we were going to make it because it's going on four. And. We said four o'clock would turn around because we should be thinking about getting back. Oh, I'll pause it till you get close. Well, I'll leave it on. See, all this is run off from the lake. I gotta navigate here a little bit. Whoop. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry for all the viewing audience. <sighs> okay. They're coming up. Oh my lord. There's the water. And we have successfully made it to Dry Lake. We made it. Oh, God, no. 
<sighs> oh yeah. Do you see that there's a Sasquatch on the other side of the lake looking at us? What? A Sasquatch on the other side of the lake. It's an albino one. You see it there? It, yeah, he's turning. He's fleeing now. He's fleeing now. He's seen it. He's, he knows he's been spotted. So. Come on. I, I, I ain't going in there, but. Just for your feet. Uh, nah. I'm gonna drink some water, and. Uh, Where's your feet? Well, up in the trees somewhere there. Boy. Uh, yep. Yeah, isn't that something? Maybe another time. Get up here early enough. You can go all the way around the lake, you know? I don't think we have time for that. Where the moss? Huh? Where the moss is going? Yeah, but I mean, you can hike all the way around this lake. And on the other side there is a campground. So. Oh, any, any fish in there? See? What is it? Oh, the little buggies? Oh, like a tadpole, yeah. Nah. I'm going to put my gear down. I'm going to go over on that rock over there. Is that big rock? Oh, oh down here? Look, just up a, up a little ways here. Oh, I, I'm just going to go sit on this rock, drink some water, maybe, uh, find like a tripod where I can use this, uh, something for a tripod, then I just let this thing film the lake. Whew. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll go a little further. I go a little further. Oh wow. I really see the snow up there. San Gregorio. It says there's tadpoles in there. Go the other way. Gorgonio up there. Maybe I'll do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'll pause this for now. Come over on the other side of the lake here. It's more sun, but if you can see that guy over there. And there's Gorgonio up there. Same Gorgonio. Overlooking Dry Lake here. I'm going to go on a little further. Oh, drop my pole. Oh, wow. That's got to be that gypsum bowl. What you'll see. Keep going a little bit further. I get a nice shot. Get a nice shot of this. Whoa. It's a lot of snow. 
Okay, here we go. Good start right here. Okay. Whew. Look at the mountains up there. Whew. It's the hottest out there. I better get something to drink some water because it is worth my watch. You know, let's go. Oh, yeah. Just going on fourth. So, need to get back. So, I'm going to sign up for now. There are right there, little polywogs in there. I don't know if I can even see them. Hey, guys. Oh, he's gone. So, there should be uh, frogs in this lake. Dry lake. Okay, I gotta get this back back off. Oh, Good in the pictures? Yeah, I mean, looking through the, the view thing here, you really can't see all that well, but I mean, yeah, it comes in the focus. Should have brought the tripod. You could use this. Yes, I thought about that sitting around a rock or something, but. No, stick it in the mud instead. <laughs> stick it in the mud, huh? Uh, you know, what time you get? What time? I don't know. Oh, you put your watch on the yesterday. Yeah, what time you want? Let me check. Oh, okay. Ten after four. Ten after four? Yeah. I guess four thirty. We should be. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We should mess around. Four thirty. It's gonna be faster. Yeah. I know, and then you got to worry about, you know, critters. Well, them and other sorts of critters. What do you mean, bears? Yeah. Why? Well, they, they find a, after you? Well, they find a food source. You know, they'll be after your food. Hey, 
eat them. No. <laughs> It's Survivor. You know, they've got an inflatable boat you can buy. It's only like three or four pounds. And you bring the pump and you can inflate it. How heavy is the pump? Probably a pound or so. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Here. Yeah, for sure. Squirrel. What? Attack squirrel. He's throwing pine cones at us. There's a frog. There's a fish. That's yeah, they, they live here when there's no water. Well, they say that sometimes the Forest Service will stock this lake with fish. Mm. Right. Could have brought some fish up. Throwing them in there. Have you never been up here? Nope. I made it, you know, just as we were coming up there along the stream. That's how close I was 10 years ago. The big one that we didn't know how to go off? No, no just, that, just that one, just right back there. Just before we, we you know, got to the sign, mm -hmm. I was right there 10 years ago. And then uh, a friend, he uh, oh. croaked on me, yeah. Passed out in the snow. So, but I... Well, that would have been frozen. Well... In the winter, you mean? Well, I mean, it was sunny and hot down below, but once we got up here, it was kind of cold and snowy kind of conditions, but we were, you know, weren't in shorts and t-shirts. We had gear, but it's just too much for the guy. Those those last switchbacks we were going up there, mm -hmm. you know, that were kicking our butt. Yeah, that just, just too much fun. <clears throat> Blue the sky is quiet. I finally made it to Dry Lake. And we should be heading back here pretty soon. We'll get an earlier start next time, huh? Well, yeah, if you want to get up here at like 8 o'clock to be here at noon so you could go all the way around the lake and fart around for a couple hours, you'd have to do that. Get up much earlier, yeah. Bring more food. Bring more food. Bring a cushion. Bring a hibachi. No, maybe a oh, do a barbecue. No, maybe I need a barbecue. And bring you like uh, not a sleeping bag, but something to lay on. Because if you sleep for an hour, then we cook it. Well, oh, yeah, you could bring like a little bed, well, not a, you know, but like a mat yeah. or a, even a towel. You rolled it up. And yeah, and you could bring a towel with the sun. You just kick back for a while. If you have towel, I never think would you go in the water? Yeah, I might think about it. I don't know. It just doesn't, you know, I don't know, you know. It's just. I come from a family where we don't do stuff like that. <laughs> I just don't. Ah, I didn't jump in the lake, you know. They don't? No. Your family don't jump in the lake? No. We got no, uh, no lake jumpers. Like an adventure or a break? No, neither. Just knowing that, that afterwards it's going, you're going to be in for an unpleasant, you know, sensation. With your uh, soggy, soggy wet drawers and yeah. 
Okay, I better turn this off. Well, sir, you made it to the lake. Yeah. Okay. Have any uh, words for the folks back home? <laughs> so I get to the top of uh, that mountain up there next time, what do you say? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing up there, huh? No. Well, look at all those rocks. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, I guess this is it from Dry Lake. Get a nice, oh, low level shot. Lake's pretty full. It's nice and inviting. But, need to be getting down, down the hill now. Okie dokie. Uh, so, what does that mean? Well, it's almost 4 30. Took us, what, four hours to get here? Three, three and a half. Okay, I'm gonna uh, shut this thing off. Farewell from Dollar Lake. All right, this is uh, that's looking up towards the lake, but we're on our way back now. Uh, got the bug on the lens. Big old tree here. No walking. And you're uh, noticing earlier, you can see over on these mountainsides here it was an avalanche. Must have been this winter. And it goes down, that goes down into South Fork Meadows, where we're going to be heading. And, uh, see the water stream down there, that's coming from the lake we were just at. So, yep, that's the way up. That's the way down. Oh, uh, what, that dead one? Okay, good one. Nice tree. All right. So uh, head on down. Keep on heading down the trail. And then this big old tree here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We're on our way down. Our worry now is we got this smoke cloud, and it appears the smoke is originating from somewhere down in there. Oops. Where? Yeah, just down in through, through there. So, hopefully, this won't turn into some kind of Blair Witch Project thing where we get stuck up here and we're running through the woods at night. We still got to head down South Fork Meadows, so, oh well, we'll see if we see you. We're getting lower, but there's... Obviously, fire down there, and uh, hopefully, we're not going to be headed into it. You can see the clouds headed off that way. That's more of the trail down there, so we got a ways to go. It's just this right here. Is that going to be? A problem. Okay, let's check back in with you.